Hi friends, it's me Swastik and today you will learn Python in 10 minutes. If you haven't downloaded Python yet, you can click in the card. First, we need to open the IDLE of Python. This is where you'll write your code. Um, so this is the IDLE. Let's begin. So the so this is a number, right? This is an integer. An integer could be a negative number as well. So next is a floating point number. It's a decimal number. So 66.6 .6 would be a float. So if I do this type, so this is a function which gives me the uh, type. So this would be giving me integer. So this is integer. If I do something like a decimal, um, something like 66.6, .6, it's a float. Okay, uh, then we have strings, which is either inverted in single inverted commas or double inverted commas. So go is a string. If I get its type here, it's going to be a string. Now we can uh, perform operations on these numbers and integers. So 50, let's say 55 plus 5. Okay, so plus means addition, 66 minus 66 minus 77 minus 7 is a subtraction, this would be multiplication, and this would be division, okay, now, uh, and also there is another one, this is the percentage sign, this would give me the remainder, okay, so if I divide 66 by 6, there is no remainder, so it would give me 0, and, but if I divide 3 by 2, this would give me one because it leaves back one okay if you perform the division the long division this could be useful in finding you know even numbers and stuff like that okay then there's a command or a function called print so we already saw a function here this is a type so functions are closed uh, are some f uh, they have th this are uh, these parentheses where you put in some value so like right now this function print function takes in a value let's just say open and it just prints it out here okay so um let's just um, print out the uh, sum of 88 and 88 and 9 so it will print me this right here. Now the next is uh, variables. Variables are containers where information is stored. For example, if I have a variable called name, so this is how you define a variable. And after you put in an equal to sign, equal to operator, and then you put in whatever you want the name to be. You could put it as a number. You could put it as any of these floating point strings and all that. So name is a string most probably. So I'll enter my name in here. And it's just stored it okay so how do we check if it's stored we can either use type to see what kind of so we can put name in the type and it will return back string we can print name okay and it oh god i misspelled it this prints back the name okay you can do something like this you could set let's say a different name name one to be equal to your previous name so now name one, if I print name one out, this is equal to swastik. Okay? So if I print name one instead now, it is also equal to swastik. Okay? Next, we can also concat strings. What would that mean? Let's just do this here. So I will concat hello and I will concat rob. Okay? So it gives me hello rob. Now, if I wanted to, I could concat name one, name and name one, okay? This gave me back swastik, swastik. You can multiply strings as well. So, as you can see, name has swastik stored in it. So, if I multiply it by 10, it will give me back swastik 10 times, okay? Now, after this, there is uh, how to take an input from a user. So, to take in an input from a user, you can store it in a variable. Let's just call it imp. No, don't call it input. Call it imp imp is this is a variable okay so if you're taking an input you do input this is a function and in here you will take in you will just write uh, some uh, string that will be displayed while the bef like uh, uh, before 
the user enters the thing. Let's just say enter your name. Okay, let's just do this like this. Okay, name equal to input. Um, enter your name. Enter your name. And uh, this will, as you can see now, it will ask me for my name. Enter your name. And as you can see, if I put in, let's just not put in swastik. Let's put in uh, something like uh, Joe's. And now I could uh, do this. I can print out name. Now, as you can see, name will store Joe's inside it. So it stored it the value that I gave it. Okay. So and if I want to, I could some do something like this. So I can int as you as I saw it showed you. It uh, is a number. It they are numbers. Integers are numbers. So if I I could convert a string, let's just say 66. 66 is a string, okay? I could convert it into if it's inside these double inverted commas, I could convert it into an integer. As you can see, it got converted into an integer. And let's just say uh, if I uh, if I have strings, you know, let's just say let's just do this. I will ask. Um, I will ask the user for maybe just let's just let's just do this. I'll call it a string as no. Do not name okay. One of the things, do not use do not name your variables as these keywords which are highlighted in this uh, manner as you can see because these are keywords which are stored in and if you change them it can cause some problems. So maybe not just use string instead. Okay. Um. So what was I talking about? Yeah. So if I put in the string something like. Uh, 66 plus 9 okay I could evaluate the string okay so I could pass in the string from here and this should give me back the result of whatever was in that string okay so if there was no result it would give me back an error for example if I just wrote in a, a string which just says F plus K okay this would give me an error because f is not defined it is supposed to be an integer here okay um, next this is known as a list a list is actually a it's enclosed in square brackets this uh, contains it's an ordered sequence of elements so it can store numbers means integers it can store floating point numbers it can store strings itself and let's say string and it can also store lists inside of lists okay whatever that is okay uh, so yeah that's it so if I just do it here okay this was wrong because nothing was defined here so let me just do something like this list this list would contain one two three four five this would be the list here that contains one two three four five if I put in a if I assign this to Bob okay let's just say Bob is a list right now Bob is a variable okay so Bob this variable now will hold a list containing his name let's just say Bob okay his age let's just say it's it's an integer so it's 44 and uh, his gender so it could be male okay so as you can see Bob now is a variable which stores a list here okay let me just see how much time is left okay so we have run out of time great this means that we'll have to end the thing but i'll just complete what i was doing right now i could print out bob okay i could print out bob's index okay so if i put in square brackets here and put in an index so this would be zero index this would be one this would be two so if i put in the first if i print out the first index of bob it will return back the name of bob okay sorry first would mean this yeah i told you this is zero this is one and this is two and goes on and if you come back it will be minus one minus two minus three okay um yeah if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe i know i couldn't cover everything in this video you can't just learn a programming language in 10 minutes but if you want detailed solutions you can uh, post them you can uh if you okay let's just do a poll if you guys want detailed um tutorials of python this should cover the basics of Python, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll meet you in the next video. Goodbye.